Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your love reading and it is a general reading so it may or may not resonate but if it does resonate there will be an extended reading in Vimeo where we'll look further into how your, your person feels about you and we'll take a sneak peek further into the future. Now I'm going to pull some cards for your heart which we've just had Cobra come out and then your sense of connection with the world and then we're going to have a look at a relationship and if some of the specifics of the relationship aren't resonating it might be that there's themes within it that that might resonate so what can we get for uh, cancer what can we get for you what can we get for cancer we have a uh, bat and unicorn and moth beautiful as the relationship coming out and so we have the unicorn and the moth i'll just show you those cards they're really beautiful and i'm going to pull some cards for the past present and future as well this relationship so past present and future cancer what have we got? The Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. For the present, we've got the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. And the future, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Chariot and the Two of Swords. Lots of swords. So a lot going on your mind. The Magician at the bottom of this deck. So let's start the reading with a message from the angel cards for your Cancer. What can we get for Cancer, for beautiful Cancer? What message do you have for Cancer, angels? What do you want to say to Cancer about this? Let's sort of wait for this one to pop for these cards. What, if you, what do you want to say to Cancer? We've got meditation brings answers and take action. So I don't know if any of you meditate or contemplate or just sit and do a bit of mindfulness in the bath or something like that. Uh, but yeah, going within and being quiet and finding some stillness, you'll find those answers. And yes, take action. So being um, strongly urged to take action towards something that may make more sense once we get further into the reading so let's have a look at message for your heart it's a fire energy the cobra and this could be something really wanting to grab your attention here something that could actually be a very sexual uh, connection uh, but I feel like for some of you but I definitely feel like it's something is trying to grab your heart's attention here it's right in front of you. So definitely I think you will understand this because it's right there and it's something your heart's really thinking about. Um, messages your how you're feeling connected with the world. We've got the bat energy and there's a sense of there could be a little bit of fear at the base of this as well, but the message of this is it's time to let go of fear and through that letting go of fear you feel more connected to the world, to the people around it, to the earth. And so it's time to let something go here. And it could be time to let go of a connection as well when bats coming in. So let's look at this relationship that has come up for you, Cancer. We've got unicorn and moth. And unicorn is a beautiful energy. It's the uh, energy of spirit, that circle. And the upward pointing triangle with the line through it is the element of air. So I actually feel like with this reading, it could go either way. You could be either unicorn or moth. I'm going to start with, I actually can't pick it right this minute, Cancer, for you. So I'm going to pick, I keep going, okay, moth, and then it goes, no, unicorn. And I go, unicorn, okay, unicorn. We'll stick with you, we'll, we'll keep you as unicorn for the moment, Cancer, okay? And if... If you want to swap it over, then that's fine. You can swap the positions. So I feel like there's a sense of with this unicorn, 
that your um something seemed quite transitory something felt like it you're trying to wonder whether something a feeling or a connection between somebody was real and there might have just been a little moment of like connection or chemistry between you where you were just like and this person this is kind of like a secret crush energy or a crush energy. It doesn't have to necessarily be secret, but you often don't necessarily tell people you've got a crush on them. But it's got this energy of um, thinking about some this person a lot. They're in the back of your mind and it's a lovely dreamy. It's fun to fantasize about them. It's fun to think about them. It feels really nice. So... Yeah, I think I don't feel like anything's quite happened yet, but I feel like there's definitely a connection or a moment that you've something's happened that you've suddenly gone, oh, I like them. I feel something for them. So, yeah, it's 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 nice energy. We have as the Queen of Cups and uh, as the recent past, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So. It's very much um, letting go of something that wasn't fulfilling you, letting go of a burden here and going, what is it that's actually fulfilling me? What is actually going to give me love and fill my cup here? So there's this, it's almost almost letting go of an idea or an, or an ideal even for some of you, but it's a situation both of you have kind of turned your backs on something for the moment. There's this sense, or in the past, I feel like you've both kind of gone, that's not for me. And it might this might have been the conversation that you had about um, so, a situation that didn't fulfill you or a situation that took too much out of you. It felt like you might have connected by um, spilling, almost spilling out, uh, talking about previous spilling your heart, spilling your guts to each other almost. Um, there's a connection about speaking about past um, pain. And, yeah, I feel like both of you have actually made a decision to towards happiness here, yeah, towards love, which has actually been really nice. But I don't see you actually um, making a decision to go towards each other at this point in time. So we have as the future, as the recent, uh, the present, gosh, what and where am I? <laughs> what tense am I in? We've got Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah, look, I feel like um, someone's desperate to end something here, to end um, a negative, something really negative that's been in their life and the other person is moving towards happiness, moving towards peace. So it's like you're both kind of doing similar things. You're just going about it different ways. You're both trying to end something that has caused unhappiness. And I feel like they're, they're kind of like maybe one step ahead of you <laughs> almost um, in terms of it might actually be this is why you're attracted to them is that they have let go of some kind of something that was a kind of burden to them, a burdensome ideal or a burden to taking on too much of something and they've moved to, they've relocated, they've found a new place for themselves, whether this is they've moved, they might be from another country even, you know, maybe they've moved country, maybe they've moved jobs, they found a new job. And whatever it is about them, it's like they've done what you might want to be doing and so that's where the connection is. You kind of admire what they've done because they have said, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm moving to somewhere where I'm feeling more peace. And so you're just immediately like, yeah, I'm getting rid of the thing that was causing me um, trouble as well because I can see that they've done that. So it's almost like they're, they're a bit of a um, spiritual counsel to you as well. And it's interesting when the, the cobra comes up, it's... um. The cobra is the spiritual teacher. So, yeah, it's like if you have feelings for this person, it's also 
that kind of are coming in in that role as a spiritual teacher guide, whether it's um, they you either of you are aware of it or not, that's just kind of the energy that's coming in, I'm being told, from a higher perspective. In the near future, we have the Ace of Swords, the Chariot, and the Two of Swords. And it's interesting because, you know, this night, just sorry in the present, this night is the taking action card. It is taking action to cut out something that has been, um, and you can see there's the horse as well with that card. There's a, this Ten of Swords, whatever that represents to you, something has ended and there is a new dawn, but that darkness felt like a curse, a really negative cycle. So that has been lifted, which is actually really positive. Taking action to let go of that, to remove that. And it could be very much, you know, this bat energy, letting go of something, letting go of fear or letting go of some kind of negative thought pattern or letting go of a negative relationship that's had a hold over you. So anyway, let's move on to the future. We have the Ace of Swords, the Chariot, and the Two of Swords. So I feel like a lot's going on in your mind with this relationship. It's very much a meeting of minds and it's kind of got your you thinking, seeing, meeting them and having their past act, seeing their actions and who they are. It's got you thinking about your life and what you want to be doing and how you want to be bringing happiness to your life. Uh, I do see that there is, um, I don't feel like you two are quite on the same page. Like if this is like something that either two of you are going to get together, um, it doesn't quite feel like it. I feel like some person, one person is very quite clear and the other person is not seeing it quite yet. Or if they are, they're in denial about it. Um, with the chariot in the center, that's the bringing the two energies together. Um, and this is actually your card, Cancer. So it is a sense of bringing the two together and the conflict ending in victory. You know, there is this sense that there is very much this potential for the two of you to get together or any kind of um, mismatch of energies or misunderstanding or not being in quite the right place, that has the potential to bring these two energies together uh, in the near future. But I don't feel it's like it's quite happened yet, but it is that that energy is working. It's working in the background. And so the magician energy is very much um, transmuting a negative situation into a positive situation changing something and that's what that taking that action is it's taking action to not go down that cycle again to not go down that path but also this I think it also represents the relationship that's come up here with this person is that it's turned it's changed from something into something else and so there's clarity that's come here there's a meeting of minds I don't necessarily see a meeting of hearts. So whether it's romantic, this could be more of a, it, it's not, uh, the romance isn't there yet if this is something that's romantic. But that could come out in the deep read. We'll have a little sticky beak about how they actually feel about you and whether they even know about it. <laughs> they might not even know about it yet, Cancer. But either way, this person seems to be a really good influence in your life. So it's a good person to have. They'll, they'll be a catalyst uh, like the magician. They're the alchemist and they will be a catalyst for change, taking action and letting go of some things that uh, some fear and a fear cycle that has led to past hurts. So, so either way, this person's a really, really good um, person to have in your life. Let's pull a card message from the universe around this. We have acceptance of love and bountiful harvest. Wow. Okay. Well, that's beautiful energy. So I feel like there's uh, more to come to this story, <laughs> Cancer. I feel like there is actually, um, there is potential for love there. Absolutely. Um, with the, It's also like a, you know, they're from the same tree. This could be the family tree. It could be family that we're talking about here as well if it's not romantic. But um, I feel like the change that taking the action and the, ch the, the change that occurs after this is going to bring some abundance 
to you and the relationship. So, yeah, it feels really beautiful. So if you'd like to join me on the Vimeo Deep Read, the, we're going to head over there now. The link is in the description box below. But if this is where I'm leaving you, I hope this helps cancer. And please like, subscribe or leave a comment because I like hearing your comments. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.